Kelly, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wake you up, all right? I'm just trying to shift positions. My arm fell asleep. Ugh. Lucky arm. I can't sleep at all. I keep thinking of that. Uh, out there. It was a coyote. And don't worry, we're safe in here, okay? Look, since you're being so stubborn about mm. not finding Mr. Benson tonight, wouldn't we be a lot safer and a lot more comfortable if we just drove down this mountain and found a couple of motel rooms? Well, we'd lose too much time, Kelly. I mean, if you really want to get that proxy for your father, I would suggest we beat a, a path to Benson's door at daybreak before Benson beats us to it. Well, I just wish we knew where that door was. <sighs> What the heck is this? Hey! What's going on here? Uh, nothing. We're just sleeping here. We're just camping out here till morning. Dream on, fool. This is private property you're trespassing on. My private property. Who, who are you? That is a philosophic question I spent my life pondering. I'm not about to impart my findings to the likes of you. <laughs> All right, cool it, Howard. I'll let you know when to attack. This beast has a pathological hatred of strangers. Like master, like dog. Uh, we're looking for someone that lives up on this mountain. R.J. Benson? You want him too, huh? We... I won a gold mine from him in a poker game about six months ago, and he disappeared before I could claim it. Well, you wouldn't happen to know where his house is, or cabin, or uh, wherever he lives. How do I know you're not after the mine? Hey, come on. We're, we just want to talk to this gentleman. Gentleman? He's a foul mouthed mean-spirited, miserable old hermit. Right, Howard? I can't help you. And if I were you, I'd get the hell off my property before I decide to use this thing. Now, get! Hey, 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 okay, okay. okay.